Hi, this is Tony Lin. Uh, welcome to my video. And today I'm going to show you a COVID-19 study uh, that posted uh, last month on the uh, naturals.com. Uh, naturals.com is the one of the uh, one of the most uh, prestigious uh, science journal in the world, according to the Wikipedia. So uh, this study, uh, they uh, did examination on 735 uh, death cases associated with the COVID-19 and they found uh, uh, actually uh, they are some uh, of the people in this, uh, in this 735 people, and their death cause uh, is not uh, COVID-19. and. Uh, uh, so in this uh, study, I'm going to show you uh, the method they use to uh, confirm this uh, COVID-19 death codes and uh, also I'm going to uh, show you that uh, uh, the some of the most common uh, comorbidity from these uh, uh, confirmed COVID deaths. Uh, so next time when you hear uh, they like uh, always uh, you know, on the news uh, they uh, on the news, they always talk about, oh, they are a million of people died uh, because of COVID-19. Actually, uh, in sci scientifically, they cannot claim that because uh, 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 in this study, you will see uh, they actually did the uh, autopsy and also the post-mortem uh, examination and all kind of uh, uh, check and examination they did on the medical record. So without doing this, uh, scientifically, uh, you cannot claim the million of people died because of COVID-19 because uh, uh, after they did uh, this examination, actually uh, some of the people, they died because of the other uh, death codes. It's not because of the COVID-19. So without doing this, autopsy and post-mortem uh, uh, post uh, examination, you cannot claim that a million people died because of COVID-19 and we have to clarify that because mainstream media use uh, these number to cause the uh, to cause fear and uh, uh, among us uh, try to uh, drive uh, some of us uh, to take uh, the vaccine and uh, that is not uh, uh, that is, uh, they are not using the right data. So uh, today I'm going to show you the data from the most, uh, one of the most uh, prestigious uh, uh, science uh, journal. Let me, uh, let us uh, jump into this uh, scientific report uh, from the naturals.com. I'll including the link for you so uh, you can uh, go ahead to check uh, this uh, report from the naturals.com and uh, see every detail about this uh, report. So first, uh, let us uh, look at the title. Uh, it says a uh, prospective uh, post-mortem uh, evaluation of 735 consecutive uh, SARS-CoV-2 associated death cases. So uh, keep in mind, uh, pay attention, they said uh, SARS-CoV-2 associated. So uh, even though uh, these 735 are SARS-CoV-2 associated, that doesn't mean that these 735 people died because of the COVID-19. You need to do the autopsy and also uh, a post-mortem uh, examination. Let me show you. So here it says uh, to distinguish uh, COVID-19 from the non-COVID-19 deaths. So because uh, these are uh, just associated doesn't mean these are uh, associated with the COVID-19 doesn't mean these people died because of the COVID-19. We need to clarify. So that is why when next time the mainstream media tell you, oh, there are a million people died because of COVID-19. Uh, you should ask uh, the mainstream media, did they do the autopsy? Did they do the post-mortem examination to confirm these people really died because of COVID-19? That is the question we need to ask. Otherwise, you just uh, uh, trying to bring some uh, random, uh, bring some data, uh, unverified data, trying to uh, scare people. And uh, that is not uh, uh, scientific and uh, uh, we have to uh, clarify that. 
So uh, here it says uh, we performed a, a systematic review of 735 uh, SARS-CoV-2 associated deaths. Where uh, where is the study? You can see it's in Hamburg, uh, Germany. And what is the time period? It's from March December to uh, March to December uh, in 2020. And uh, pay attention to to the time period. It was uh, from last year. So the reason uh, these, uh, these uh, study just posted last month, but actually this data is uh, already last year, is because uh, it takes time uh, to do the autopsy and also the post-mortem uh, examination and all kind of uh, data analysis before you can confirm the death cause. They, they already uh, spent a lot of time to confirm uh, all confirm the data since uh, last year. So it takes a couple months before uh, you can see this uh, report. So next time when you uh, hear the news saying, oh, there are so many people died because of COVID-19. <laughs> did they actually spend time to do the, did they actually spend time to do the uh, autopsy and the post-mortem examination? It takes couple months, okay? In, and in this case, it looked like at least it takes six months to do uh, all the examination to confirm the call, death calls. Then if you just uh, look at the uh, latest data, they said, oh, there are uh, how many people died because of the COVID-19 last month. Actually, uh, that is uh, not scientific because they didn't confirm the cause of death. So now, uh, let us look at the, what kind of method they use to uh, come uh, to verify the, these uh, death calls. And they're using the conventional autopsy, uh, ultrasound guided minimally invasive uh, autopsy, post-mortem uh, post computed tomography and the medical record. So, they use all kinds of uh, way to confirm the uh, cause of death. It's not like uh, it's not like oh, it's not like uh, uh, we see in the, on the mainstream media. Uh, like uh, people just uh, uh, after the people die, after someone died and uh, uh, they just uh, do a, a COVID nineteen test and uh, if they test the positive, then. <laughs> the hospital uh, say that this person died of COVID-19. So that is why uh, we cannot trust uh, mainstream media. And you have to look at the actual uh, autopsy and the post-mortem uh, examination to verify the true death cause. Uh, yeah, if you don't believe me, uh, look, at the, uh, look at this data. So after they did all these uh, examination on 735 people, uh, actually only 84.1% were classified as COVID-19 deaths. So the, the, other, uh, the other people, uh, they died, they are not verified, they couldn't verify, or they died because of the other disease. And now, uh, I want you to look at the uh, these uh, 735 people, their age and uh, sex, they, their age data. So let me take you to uh, So let me take you to this uh, table number three. And uh, this is, these are the people, uh, these are the death cases, they actually did a conventional autopsy. So uh, they found, uh, as you can see, there are two columns here. One is the, uh, they confirm these people are COVID-19 deaths and the others uh, are not COVID-19 deaths. You can see uh, COVID-19 deaths is 254 and non-COVID deaths is 27. And uh, you can see the uh, age, age is 82. 82, um, which is, uh, you know, pr these people are, uh, the median is of 82 and the mean is, uh, you can see is 79.4.
you can see the median is uh, 82 and uh, these are uh, the age distribution is from 29 to 100 and the mean is uh, 79.4 these people who died because of the COVID-19 they are actually very old and uh, uh, now let me show you the comorbidity so this table they show you the co most uh, some of the most common comorbidity among the autopsy cases so you can see the the number one uh, comorbidity uh, the most common comorbidity is a cardiovascular uh, disease and uh, you can see they are 226 which is 89 percent that is very high and uh, also the second ones uh, follow that is a pulmonary disease and uh, it's 48.8 uh, and the neurological is uh, 47 which is also very high and the renal uh, is uh, uh, 37 percent and uh, endocrine is uh, 28.6 percent oncologic uh, is uh, which is a uh, cancer is a uh, 20 point nine percent and liver uh, I think everything below the liver liver uh, pancreatic and the immunological these are uh, percentage are below than uh, ten percent which is a uh, uh, much lower actually if you look at the uh, cardiovascular it is uh, uh, eighty nine percent and uh, which is a uh, very high however uh, if you look at the uh, uh, Although this uh, study is uh, in Germany, in Hamburg, but uh, I found some uh, numbers, uh, uh, I found some uh, numbers in uh, American Heart Association. So this uh, shows you that uh, for the people who are 80, more than 80, this is, the, I'll include a link for you so you can go ahead to check this uh, for the uh, 80 years old age group. Uh, and 84.7% of 84.7 percent of men have uh, uh, have uh, uh, cardiovascular disease. If you look at this data, you would think uh, that the cardiovascular, although this shows that 89 percent, you look like a, a cardiovascular is the most common comorbidity, but. Uh, <laughs> Actually, people who are 80 years old, they, most of the people who are over 80 years old, they all have a, a, over 90% of uh, these people, they all have a cardiovascular disease. So I would say, if you look at this uh, data, I would say the most uh, common comorbidity is not a cardiovascular disease. It's because the people, just because the people are old, and when you are old, uh, of course, uh, your 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 when you uh when you get any kind of a disease, uh, it's a very easy. It's much easier uh, to die uh, compared to the younger people, and uh, so yeah, you can. Of course, uh, this is just my opinion. You can uh, have a different opinion. I'm just uh, present you the data here, and hopefully, uh, this is helpful for you. And if, he, if you think uh, these data is helpful, uh, please hit the like button so more people uh, can be informed. And uh, share this uh, uh, video on, on this uh, other uh, video platform. And uh, I really appreciate uh, your help and the support. Uh, thank you for watching uh, today's video and uh, have an amazing day. I'll see you soon uh, on my next video. Bye.